everybody. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Wednesday night. It's Whimsical Wednesday. Thank you for coming tonight. I appreciate you being here very, very much. I am ready to get moving on this buffet. It seems like we've been working on this buffet forever since we changed directions, or I say I changed directions. Uh, I'm a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint. You are on the Dixie Bell Paint page and the Dixie Inst uh, Facebook page and the Dixie Bell Instagram page. We are live both both sides and Matt, my husband, is behind the camera and he will ask any questions that you have that he sees. He'll do his best to keep up with those. We usually also have a moderator on the Dixie Bell side that will also help us with questions as well. Um, did I already say that I'm a brand ambassador? My name is Tracy and my business is Tracy's Fancy. I would love it if you guys would go give me a like and follow over on Instagram, Tracy's Fancy, and Facebook is Tracy's Fancy. You can also find me on YouTube and Pinterest as well and my website, tracysfancy.com. Okay, enough of that. We have been working on this buffet behind me, and we did all of the painting so far. Uh, we painted it, and we mixed a beautiful green and painted a, a really unusual custom color green that we called, uh, I forgot, something olive. Manzanetta olive or something like that. Um, anyway, I decided after a, a week of looking at it, I didn't like it. So when y'all joined me again, I had turned it red and very fiesta, very carnival, very folklore looking, um, and, and I love it. This is much more my style. I am a colorful furniture painter. I do take custom orders, so sometimes things have to be toned down a little bit, but if I get to paint just from my heart and soul, this is kind of the, the way it looks. So. Um, tonight we are using the Dixie Bell transfer that we're going to be applying, which I had applied for you guys before the camera went live last week right here on this side. And we worked on shading and shadowing. I showed you how to shadow in, um, blend in the red against the white, um, right here on these sides. And we talked about color and mostly color and blending last, last week. And we're using the chalk mineral paint by Dixie Bell. Dixie Bell has chalk mineral paint. And they also have a line of metallic paints and they also have a line now of silk paints which is their all-in-one paint and we are using the chalk mineral paints and um, you do lots of blending and creating your own colors with the chalk mineral paints so um, they work really well with water uh, they're all water-based paints it's a fantastic company that uses um, low to no VOCs uh, uh, it's a good safe family friendly uh, health and good environment paint um, so, as I was creating my transfer here, and it's, it was difficult, it's not easy. So, I was like, you know what, I need to do this online. I need to show people. A transfer looks like this, right? It comes in a sheet. This transfer, actually, is called the Latin Floral Transfer. When you order the transfers online, they come in a tube, just like this. Um, they come with a transfer, an instruction sheet, and a tool that, you, that helps you to apply them to your furniture. Well, it looks great when you put all four pieces together and they make this shape like this, a long, a big, giant rectangle, just like this. One piece, another piece, another piece, another piece. Makes a nice rectangle. Well, that's great if you're putting it on the inside of a back of a shelf or the back of a cabinet or the side of a dresser, but not a lot of dressers are just completely flat on the front or nor are, um, you know, armoires or <clears throat> any nightstands, none of, very rarely are they just flat. They've got frames around each drawer. They've got raised carved areas. They've got etched areas. Um, they, you know, they're recessed. So um, if it's a nice square, that makes sense. You can kind of measure that out with the ruler, right? But what do you do when you're working around something like this? When you've got a circle in the middle and then look at this funky like what do you call that like a cloverish four leaf clover kind of shape thing going on so i just go on about my business and start doing the way i do it and then i thought well i don't know maybe i should show you all how to do it so that is what we are going to do tonight we're going to do the hard one first over on this side and then we'll see how we're hanging we'll see how we're doing and then we maybe we'll do one of these one of these top two drawers up here as well okay so, um, I'm going to pause for a minute and see if Matt's got any questions for me. No questions, just comments. People are liking your colors. And uh, Dev Oliver loves how the shading is showing through on your transfer. Yes, the thank, thank you, Dev, for noticing that. That is exactly my plan. I wanted, you can do it both ways. You can paint on top of your transfers. Did you know that? You can paint on your transfers. Um, as a matter of fact, I want to do a live about that as well with you guys on, an, on another day and another time. 
But um, so you can put your transfer down first and then do some shading on top of that. But you, there's some slickness to it. <clears throat> it's a little bit easier to do your shading underneath as long as your transfer is see-through, which this is. This has a white backing, but when you pull it off, that's see-through. And all that's going to be put down on the furniture is the actual shapes of this Latin floral, folky florals there. So thank you for noticing that. Any others, babe? Just a lot of people saying they love it, loving the colors, loving the look, like I, the transfer, so fabulous, you. says Aww. Kathy. It's kind of crazy. Some people, I think, will really love it, and some people are like, um, that is too crazy. I did post on, on Tracy's Fancy yesterday a picture. Who saw it? Who saw the post that I put up yesterday on my page? of an entryway it was nuts it was just nuts and i fell in love with it and it reminded me of this piece of furniture so i posted it I, we found it on pinterest and uh some people just loved it loved it loved it and then some people said oh my gosh that would make me i can't stand that that's awful it looks like Candyland, which Candyland was like my favorite game as a kid i loved Candyland, um and it looked like a circus which i love circus i love uh, the old vintage style circus look as well. So I like it. Thank you. Thank you. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to have to turn my back to you and I keep forgetting to order the adapter. We now use the tablet for Facebook and my phone for Instagram and we have a microphone that we can hook up to the phone, but we need a microphone that hooks up to the tablet. And we don't have the adapter for that. Okay. So <coughs> what we're going to do first, let me show you where we're going and, um, what I'm going to do. You can use, okay, these are stiff, all right? The, the transfers have a plastic sheet and another, another. Uh, it's like wax papery kind of sheet behind it. Um, they're stiff and hard. They, you could crease it if you want, or if you're working with a straight line like this, you can just run your finger along that, and then you can look at it. You can see the crease from your fingernail on the back. But when you've got a funky design going on like this one over here, <coughs> it's like I have a tickle in my throat. Um, it's just too hard. It's impossible. I so, do have to mention that yes. Cherie says yes to circus. She's a former pro clown. Stop it. Did you go to clown school? Stop. Who said that? Uh, Cherie Lamar. Cherie, I need a photo. You need to send me. I want to see you as a clown. Ooh, as a clown. I want to see you as a clown. That is so interesting. I love to hear inter interesting stuff like that. I have a lady in one of my groups that, uh, or in one of the groups that I taught, um, that is this tiny little princessy, and she drove a, she drove a semi truck like an eighteen wheeler for a long time, and I'm like, what? That is so interesting. I don't hear of very many women clowns. That's awesome. I used well, to have a broker that was a professional clown on the side. A female? He went to clown oh, school yeah. and everything. Really? Yeah. Really. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Okay, so we are going to start with tissue paper, the guys. That's what I use. This is the end result. This is what I made right here. So I am not a seamstress. I don't sew at all. Um, but I understand, you know, you need a pattern sometimes. This one's actually for this top door. Now, you could use wrapping paper. You could use, there's other, you know, you could use, uh, I don't know, it needs to be thin. Whatever it is, it needs to have some give to it. So I find that tissue paper works the absolute best because it's uh, it's thin, you can see through it if you need to, if you're questioning where you are. Sometimes if you're using like thick wrapping paper, you can't really tell if you're you know right on the edge of something. You have to kind of keep pulling it away and looking behind it. So I like tissue paper, um, but you have to be gentle with it. You know, it'll tear easily. Um, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to work. I may not talk a lot while I'm doing it. <clears throat> y'all are like, y'all, whatever. She never shuts up. <laughs> uh, oh, Dixie, she's going to talk. Dixie Bell actually likes to know where you guys are from. So if y'all want to be uh, letting us know where you're from, if you're new to us, I'm going to slip my flip-flops off. Uh, most of us are family here. We're like friends and family. We're all here on a regular basis. All right, so I've got my tissue paper. And I am gonna try to not be too much in your way. I am gonna have to turn my back to you. And I'm gonna hold this up like this. 
my reasoning for doing this, guys, is if, if something really speaks to you, if it's a transfer, it doesn't have to be a transfer. It could be the decoupage paper or something. If something really speaks to you and you want to use it, but you're like, dang, it doesn't fit. Like, it just, there's no way I can make that work in there. Don't ever, I don't want you to not be able to use something. I love this transfer, and I wanted it on this piece, so I was determined. So, you know, find a way to make it work. Okay, so what I do is I just start to fill my way, and I just run my fingernail, just like this. And I kind of run it up around the side, just like that. People from Tennessee, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Mass, Illinois. Wow. New Jersey. New Jersey. Y'all got some snow, right? Didn't you guys on the East Florida, Coast? Florida, Dallas. Michigan got snow this morning. They woke up to snow. How, how are y'all? We had a gorgeous day. What did it get up to here today, babe? Uh, it got up to 70. 70 degrees. Gorgeous. Allie says, whoops, it disappeared. I only have two lines that I can read here. Parchment paper would, would work to make that pattern too and would, wouldn't be as flimsy. Sometimes you use wrapping paper, don't you? Yeah, but part, I think it's too thick. I don't, I, I don't like parchment paper. <laughs> I, I've tried it. I think even some wrapping paper is too thick. I like the flimsiness of it. I just do. But I, but I encourage you to see what works best for you. Working around this many curves and coming out and making that, the parchment paper to me is just, it's uh, its still too, it's just a little too stiff for me. I Kansas, just, Sherry's in from Houston. What's up, Sherry? We got an Aussie on. Got people from Colorado. Got Rhonda from Canada. Canada, Canada. Okay, so now let me tell you, that piece, this piece, I just kept going. I just kept tracing with my finger all the way around in one big piece. But this one I'm gonna try something a little bit different because my circle was a little bit off. And I think it's because I stretched it to go all the way around and you know, it's got dimension, so it pulled up and then when I cut it out, my circle was too big, which was really okay because, I don't know, it just worked. But I'm gonna try something different. I'm only gonna trace the outer part of that one and I'm gonna turn it around here, and I'm gonna follow the line, and I'm gonna cut out just the top part. Just this top part. And it's real, it's super easy to work with uh, as far as a pattern. I mean, we've all cut tissue paper, of course, but making it for a pattern is, you know, if you tear it, it's okay. Not it's a big right. deal. It's all right. Yeah. Chair is squeaking. It's still snowing in Colorado right now. Oh, it is? Who, who's with us from Colorado right now? Uh, our rustic table. Our rustic table. Don't you love it when they're on with their business? <laughs> Hi, our rustic table. They had sleet and snow in southern Illinois. Wow. Bethany, do you know where Olney is? Olney, Illinois? That's in the southern part. Drilled some oil wells out there. Makes you sound so fancy when you say that. Niagara Falls. Oh yeah, very fancy. So fancy out in the oil fields, <clears throat> huh? Mm-hmm. Very glamorous. <laughs> All right. She measure. She she's measuring her snow in centimeters. Who's that? Uh. Niagara Falls, Canada side. Oh, of course. I was going to say, is that Canada? I wish I could wrap my head around the metric system. How long have they been trying to teach us that? Since we were in the third, fourth grade or yeah, something? Yeah, Americans aren't, they, I don't know they why. can't we pick just, it up. We just can't catch it. We just can't. <clears throat> uh, what did we watch? A comedian that was talking about that, right? Saying that the metric system, something was in the weight of a small cat. Think of a small cat or something, and then everything was... Measured against a small cat. Do you remember that? I don't know. You don't remember? Okay, so we've got our top here. And another little side note that I have for you. It's not perfect, guys, and it's okay. Is I do, uh, let me spin it. I do try to mark it because a lot of this furniture is less than perfect. If it's an antique or it's vintage, a lot of it's been, you know, like hand carved or, you know, the machines weren't quite perfect back then. So you need to flip it and make sure. Okay, now mine goes this way, for sure. So I'm gonna mark 
And I really do do that. If you look on this one, do you see how it says L with an arrow on the top? That was for me to remember that that went to the left top. And this one too. So I'm just going to put L, T. Hey, what color is this piece of furniture? Uh, oh, yes, I should tell you. So the colors are, this is Honky Tonk Red. Honky Tonk Red. Let me go over the colors real quick. This one is honky tonk red. This right here is the golf. These are some. These are some of Tracy's favorite colors. Honky tonk red, the golf, and this color down here is um, plum crazy. But it's been blended into the golf. And when you blend plum crazy with the golf, you get this beautiful, like vibrant violet. It, it turns your plum crazy turns to like a violet color. It gets brighter. Um, not as dark as Plum Crazy, it lightens up and it turns violet. So that's where we got that. And then this up here, which is even a vi kind of a violet color, is a mix of Plum Crazy and red, which looks pretty amazing too. And then there's a little bit of soft pink on it as well. Cherie, she said uh, when she hears Niagara Falls, she instantly said, slowly I turned, is anyone else that old? Do you know what she's talking about? No. Is that a song? No, I don't. What is she talking about, you guys? I don't know, but some people know what she's talking about. Okay, so now they do know what she's talking about? Some of them do. I don't. If you hear some squeaking, I'm in an old... I'm just going to do what I did last week, and, and it worked out okay. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to measure the outer part first, and then we're going to go in and measure the top. Oh, step by step. Still don't know what that means. <laughs> it must be a song. Isn't that from the Backstreet Boys? <laughs> She's talking about the Backstreet Boys. Abbott and Costello. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, I knew I'd be quiet. Matt, you have to talk. You gotta read to me with her. Just read them. Oh, it's a bit from a comedy show from I Love Lucy. What? I love I Love Lucy. We named our dog after Lucille Ball. Yeah, we love I Love Lucy. I'm trying to talk Zay, uh, Tracy into a second dog so we can name her Ethel. Did you just did you just say from a comedy show I Love Lucy? Like I would need to know that that was a comedy show? That's what she wrote. Oh, she did? Yeah. Okay. That's all right, girl. We got that. We know what that is. But I don't remember that. I don't remember that one. The Niagara Falls one? I don't know. Hmm. Did you say Sherry was on? Sherry is on. Sherry. Sherry does not like my piece. <laughs> Sherry would have seizures if she had to look at this in her den every night when she got home from work. She has enough chaos at work. She comes home and she wants calm, zen surroundings. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh oh, we got a battle brewing over the origination of <laughs> step uh, by step. Oh, really? Okay. So we've got left top. We've got this cut now. Pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I just traced it like this last time. But it made it, it made it a little big. Does anyone have any suggestions? I feel like I need to go from the middle. Why don't you stick like a thumbtack in the middle? Yeah, I think I need to open it up from the middle. I'm here to teach y'all, but that's what I feel like I need to do. So I've made a little hole in the middle. And I am going to go, hang on, I'll show y'all what I'm doing. So I bent it at the top so I could see where the top was, and then I made a hole in the middle. Yeah, now I got it. I'm on a roll now. Can you tell? I'm like, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to put my scissors in that hole, and I'm going to go right up here. So the, the point of this is, last time I said my circle was too, that circle was too uh, big. Babe, what's the name of this transfer again? Latin floral. Latin floral. Latin floral. And it is a fun transfer. Think like that. So now I'm just going to do like a star shape and I'll see. I'll see if this makes a difference. It may not. But you'll, I mean, you can see it worked anyway, right? It looks good. It looks good. 
Yeah, I think it's gonna be the same. So let me just tell you what I did last time. I just traced it with my finger around the circle and then I folded it in half and I just cut out half of the circle. I just trace, trace, trace like this. And then I laid it down. I folded the transfer in half. A little crafty. Yep. Do the whole, you know, snowflake thing like we're kids in school. And then I just cut out my half circle. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit smaller this time just to see if that makes any difference. I'm just cutting right inside the circle. Sherry says you have incredible, incredible patience. She's always amazed at your creative process. Aww. Lovebugs3 wants to know what exactly you're doing with that tissue paper. I am making, Lovebugs3, I am making a pattern so that I can make my transfer that I want to use on this piece of furniture fit the area that I want to put it in. The transfers come in sheets, flat sheets like this. They come in these big flat sheets like this. Well, these big flat sheets aren't going to fit the super funky shape here. And instead of using the super thick plasticky transfer and like trying, you can lay it up in here if you want with an X-Acto knife and then you're like working with a sharp blade and it's a, it's too much. That works on like even, it's fine to do it with, if you're like this and you just want to run an X-Acto knife through there. That's fine if you're working with something in between drawers. But when you've got a, a recessed area that is this particular, you have to custom cut your transfer. So I make my transfers out of the uh, tissue papers, just like this. So let me get... So Darlene wants to know, would you recommend cutting out, whoops, disappeared, both pieces uh, at the same time no, from the first tissue pattern? I would not because, of the, because you're, most of the time I'm working with vintage or antique pieces like this and they were not made in a factory with a machine, with a precision computer setting. They're very different. Like every drawer is different. You know how you get an antique or vintage piece of furniture and the drawers don't even fit in the right holes. Like they're all the same size drawers. I'm not talking about a piece of furniture that's got too small, too medium, too large. They're all the same size drawers yet they won't fit in the hole because they're all very different. They, they don't, it's not perfect. Deb so. says you know how much they love you because they're all watching you cut paper. <laughs> show up you know we can just do the hard ugly stuff behind the scenes and then show up and go ba -ba, here's my beautiful buffet isn't it gorgeous i hope you good luck getting that transfer cut out at home by yourself you know where, what i mean where'd you get so, that transfer this transfer is from dixie bell paint company and i will put a link is that someone asking on instagram yes um i will have a link for that and i will i can dm you that link but you can also get it from Dixie Bell Paint Company you can look them up online and it's called Latin floral Latin floral okay so now if you notice see that transfer over there around that circle do you see how the I have that I don't know what you call that like a lotus flower that's coming out around the circle um, so do you see that the lotus flower know, is in two pieces it's not in the middle of a sheet you have to match them together so now we have a new set of problems right we have a new set of problems we have to not only cut this out to fit our pattern to fit the hole now we have to cut the middle out right around the this okay right around the this right around the this so this is what I'm doing this is my right side right I want it to be like that just like that so I'm gonna lay it down on the floor I'm gonna hold my 
my pattern up, I'm gonna flip it around so that I've got my left top corner. I know where my left top corner is. I'm gonna lay it down. Can they see this, babe? This is important. I'm getting there. I need my marker. You need to have a, a Sharpie, a Sharpie marker. You're gonna lay this down so that the middle of that lotus flower is right in the middle of the circle, which would be this emblem right here, because you want your lotus flower to come out around it. So you're gonna lay it right down in the middle of it, which I'm looking how, how much orange I have. I have only orange showing on the top, so I'm gonna put that right there. Make sure that it's straight. And then I'm gonna get my marker, and I'm going to trace the outside of this on my not very flat floor. So I'm just holding this down still, and I'm gonna come up here with my marker, and it's not perfect, it's okay, you just wanna get close, you just wanna get close to it. I'm just running this right along the edge of the transfer. I'm not even, I mean around the edge of the tissue paper. I'm not even like holding it. I don't wanna let, it's very slick on here, so I don't wanna let this hand up, so I'm just kind of, you know, just trying to get along the line of it there. I'm not holding it down. If I barely move my hand, this thing slides and moves, and once I start marking, I don't want it to slide and move. People are very glad that you take the time to explain how to do this and not just do it. Oh, Shelly Bean says she wishes she loves half your, or that she had half your talent and thank loves you. watching you work your magic. Thank you, Shelly, that's very sweet. Thank you guys, sometimes I feel like this is too boring and you'd rather, you know, me be on here and you just wanna watch the, a paint technique, but this stuff is important. I mean, this is what makes your furniture unique is if you have the time and patience to do these extra steps, you know? Hi, uh, Sue's here. Hey, Sue. Hi, Sue. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm gonna take the other side, the other side of the lotus flower, which would be this side, lay it down, and again, look at my pattern. LT is the left top corner. So again, I'm gonna put my lotus flower right in the middle of my circle, lay it down right in the middle, looking over here to see that I only have orange coming out at the top, orange and then purple, right above the blue, it's orange, little orange loops. So I'm gonna put that right about there, straighten it out, hold it down flat, and trace the outside first, and then I'll trace my middle circle. Now, this isn't gonna be perfect. I'm still gonna have to do some extra trimming. I'm still gonna have to, you know, work with it, get to work with it to make it work. But this gets you there, it gives you hope. This part gives you hope. <laughs> Just like so, up, and then trace out this middle circle. Just like that. All right. All right, we have several people saying you're not boring, so that's a plus. <laughs> I'm so glad. I think you said you were boring. Did I say I was boring? Well, no, I said sometimes I feel like that to, to do these things on camera, you know, I don't even know, I don't even always know how Dixie Bell will feel about it. Like, they're going to be like, um, hello, everybody's supposed to, they want to watch you paint. You but, paint. But no, I mean, these are their transfers and they want you. And by the way, you don't just, you, you can do so much more. These aren't just for furniture. Y'all know that, right? You can put transfers on anything, you can put transfers on glass, and metal, and mirrors, and pots, and clothes, and you can use these transfers on anything. That's another That's another live that I would like to have planned as well. Connie's asking, would it work to put both pieces together and trace a template that way? You could, you could do that, um, but you mean just put them together and lay it, yeah. I mean, you could do that. Lay them down together, maybe put some little scotch tape on it, and then lay your whole template down. You could do that. There, you're just gonna have, this little white edge right here gives you some variation in how, how well it's gonna match up anyway. So, yeah, you could do that. Now I'm gonna cut. Can you say what you can use transfers on again? Uh, anything. <laughs> You can use them on. Uh, can you narrow that down? A you can bit? use them on fabric. You can use them on clothes. You can use them on. Well, I don't know about clothes, but like shoes or aprons or napkins or. You can use them on those. You can use them on. Thank you, Juan. 
uh, glass, metal, pos I mean, really anything, especially if you put a coat of chalk paint down. Oh, 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 shoot. Okay. Nina loves the new bells and whistles transfers from Dixie Bell. That's what these are. Those are um, shoot. Okay, so note to self, you should also mark, if you go to the trouble to mark LT, you need to know what these are as well. Good bones put transfers on boots. Yes, yeah. Turned out really cool. Leather, shoes, purses, yes. And tea sets. You sure can. Yeah, and tea sets. Who was at the party? Who came to the tea party on Friday night? It was fabulous. Francis so is on. Nice. Hi, Francis. Hi, Francis. All right, so I'm going to check this out. Yep, this side looks good. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. That looks good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut my circle. I'm happy with that. How do you use them on fabric? I hope you do a live in that. I will do a live. Let's not let's not get into that right now, but I will do. I will do that. <clears throat> How's that sound? I'll do that. Okay, so there's my circle. Oh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. All right. If we go up, down, let's cut it a little bit more. So again, I'm just gonna use my finger here, trace that out with my finger. Get my scissors, look for my indention, make my circle a little bit bigger. I'd rather my circle be too small and you have to go back and trim it a little bit bigger than having it too big and you have empty space to fill in. Susan wants to know if you're gonna have another tea party. Will I have another one? Yes. Um, there's no reason I have, you know, I've never, someone just asked me that. Someone recently just asked me, do you ever repeat your classes? I've never repeated a class. Like, I've never repeated a denim painting class. But they're all available still. Yeah, they're right? available on my website. Yes, the tea set will be available on my website. That, that will. But to have the actual party. Okay, what I'm doing right now while I'm talking out of habit is I'm going along with my finger and just kind of uh, trimming. I know where I need to trim. I can see where it's overlapping the edge a little too much. So I'm just going in and kind of fine-tuning my, my cuts. Going in and trimming a little bit, a little bit here on the circle. Amy, Amy sold my home. I guess you're a real estate agent. She says glass mirrors, wood, metal, bowls, pots, and clothes. You can use transfer zone. Thank you. I think she's just being sweet and talking to that. Yep. All right, so let's see. I assume that's Amy. Or just someone else Amy. Yeah, that would be Amy. Okay, just a little bit more trim here on the circle, and we are good. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to line these up, okay, to match. Yeah, perfect. I mean, it's it's less than perfect, but it's definitely, we're there. We are there. So let's go ahead and put it on. Let's put this one on. Let me get my, my little stick. It's time to sweat. Yeah, no, it's easy. This one's a real easy one to put on. Uh, where's my stick? Oh. All right. This is your transfer stick. This is this will save your finger. And this will save your thumbnail. All right. So backing comes off. This is already painted. This is painted and dry. You need to your paint needs to be really dry before you put your transfer on. It's, it would be good to let it dry for like overnight, 24 hours, something like that. Before you put your transfer on. Unless you have a heat gun and then you heat, you force dry it, you can go and put your transfers on faster if you force dry your paint. But otherwise it needs time to time to dry. All right. This, the pretty part, the sticky part, that's what's going to stick to your furniture. You don't want to put your fingers in that. So if when you're going to handle it, you can see how I'm being super careful and putting my fingers only in where there's no color. Um, because if you stick your finger in that color and pull your finger off, the transfer is going to end up on your finger. You're going to have, I would have a, a hole where there's no blue transfer anymore. I would take it off on my finger. That's what's sticky. So you Susan be... says, is your hair that long? If so, where have I been? Uh, Susan? You mean like you have fake ponytails? Or no, that's tails? not what... <laughs> She's wearing a weave. That is Or no, my... extensions, not a weave. Extensions, not a weave. <laughs> Uh, yes, that is, this is my hair. It doesn't feel long though. Does it look long? Long? Yeah, that's my hair. Maybe it just looks longer because it's in a ponytail. 
All right, so they're on. I mean, it's in place. <laughs> they're on. My ponytails are on. And I just am going to start rubbing. I stick those ponytails to the side of her head just like she's putting that transfer on. I take that little stick what? and rub them onto the back of her head. Lead balloon. Lead balloon. You can't hear them laugh. Y'all, please laugh with Matt. Could y'all laugh? Give him some laughing faces. <laughs> Make his day. All right. This one goes on really fast, really easily. And I don't know if you can see this, but right over here in this little corner, right here, there is no transfer there. Like it's raw paint. So obviously it's cut short. I mean, that's probably a good quarter of an inch bare there. Yeah, no but you have that fading. No one's going to be able to tell y'all because there's no transfer there. Like when I, that's all clear anyway. So you won't even know. You won't even notice it. I'm just letting y'all know. It really depends on the transfer though. Because if you had a transfer that was solid all the way to the edge, then, <clears throat> then that's going to matter. Once you get it starting, once you get it stuck and it starts to release, you're kind of golden. It just starts coming off. And again, just like you oh, see that one's a do, lot easier than some of them. I know these transfers are the bomb. They are the bomb. They're so easy to get off. So those of you who took the tea party class, were y'all shocked at how easy the transfers were? Because I know a lot of y'all hadn't used transfers yet or hadn't used the new Dixie Belle transfers until you got your Alice in Wonderland transfers. Um, I hope you were super impressed by how easily they release. Yeah, it just peels right off. I just hit it as I go. Just gonna make sure that each little piece gets started and stays there. It goes fast and then makes a huge impact on the way your piece looks. Pretty cool. Angie Champagne, what a great name. That's her name? The transfers were amazing, no problem with release. Yay. Yeah, and Did they you? also don't tear. Like they don't crack, they, they turn <laughs> corners, um, they don't rip. Debbie's asking if you put a transfer on your mixer yet. No, I haven't, but you know I wanna put this one on there. When we've talked about it, and that's why she's asking. We've, uh, I have a red mixer and I want to... Oh, on that thing. My red mixer. Yeah. Yeah, I want to use this transfer on it, actually. It's like a $400 thing, isn't it? Well, I, I mean... No, you, we it's red. You'll be able to wash it? There's nothing in my kitchen red anymore, and I just want to have these colors on it. Yeah, if I put Gatorhead on it. Oh. Yeah, One I should, more I should know little that. piece down... I can't see. Okay, see how I'm fighting that one? That's just stupid. Why am I fighting that? Let's just get smart, Tracy. There we go. Not to fight the big thing. Just cut it out of the way. There we go. And scratch that off. I'm thinking about Sherry telling me how patient I am. Sherry, who knits, sews, crochets, needlepoints, paint by number on those big, giant paint by numbers, little tiny things. She's nuts. She's way more patient than me. Well, yeah, for someone that's known you all your life, to ask you if you're patient is pretty funny. <laughs> Was that a joke, Sherry? No, she's not joking. <laughs> she's not joking. Doesn't that look good, y'all? Doesn't it look good? So I don't have it with me, but if I had a rag, a white rag, I would take that rag and just kind of rub it over. Or you can use the little sanding sponge that's up there. You want to go over your transfer, make sure all the bubbles are popped out of the underneath and your edges are down and it just becomes part of the paint. It's 7.45, shoot. Okay, real quick, real quick, because we're going to have someone come on behind us. I want to show you how I line this up. Shoot, I may not have time. Well, I think she comes on it. I think it's Emily, right? Isn't Emily after me? Sweet Emily. I think she comes on after me. April's just signing in from Sydney. Woo! Down under. Hi, April. I don't want to speed this up too much, but I do want to show you. I really, really, really want to show you how to make these meet around the circle. 
But I guess my main goal, I feel, I, I, I mean, I bless you, but that I've seen my that. I reached my goal. My goal was to show you how to cut a pattern out. Karen, I have a calming voice. Oh, good. Aww. That's very nice. It's hard to hear myself on video. He's going to... I'm know. on the phone a lot at work, and I always wonder why people buy things with this voice. He's going to use that against me, Karen, when I'm telling him to be quiet. He'd be like, Karen says my voice is calming. I used to talk a lot. <laughs> when I'm like, can I just <laughs> have five minutes without you talking, please? Diane loves how the transfers bring in all the colors. They, they I know. It. Isn't that cool? Thank you, Diane, for noticing. Thank you. Well, guys, I don't think that I'm going to have time. I'm going to have to fine tune this a little bit up here. But basically, you'll do the same thing. You'll peel the back off. And then this has this little forgiving edge here on Thank the side you, where you have some extra space. And I'm just going to have to line that up. You want to take that clear spot and go it right over until the two orange, this orange hump and that orange hump touch until they meet up. I want to have that top of that purple kind of overlap into the top of that purple so that they meet up. That's what you want to do. Okay, but I got to fine tune this transfer first. Darn. Okay, well, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I always go on over to my page on Tracy's Fancy. I think Emily comes on after me at 8 o'clock. Um, uh, I think so. And I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here. I'll hop, go on over to mine, and I'll be finishing this up. I'm not doing anything new. Just going to finish this up and... Um, if anyone wants to join us there. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. Again, Dixie Bell, thank you for letting us be here. And um, don't forget to give me a follow. And if you are going to purchase this transfer or anything at all that we've talked about tonight, uh, my link is at the top of the video. I would love it if you'd use that. That's my affiliate link that Dixie Bell gifts to all of us uh, that work with them online so that we get to benefit from our time. So thank you so, so much. And we will see y'all next Wednesday. Okay. Thanks everybody. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye guys. Yeah, bye <laughs> Thanks guys. Bye. <laughs> see ya. See ya.